Hey everyone, Tragic MTG back again to start going through another lot of magic cards from shopgoodwill.com. Uh, I've been getting a lot of stuff from eBay lately, uh, so I'm back on Shop Goodwill. They have a pretty steady supply of magic lots. They don't all look amazing, and the ones that do, of course, are going for pretty high prices. I don't know why that is. There's some kind of influence going on there. Um, but when I see one that looks relatively intriguing, I'll uh, at least try to get it. And uh, I happen to get this one for 134 and some shipping of about 20 bucks plus a handling price. I think it was like 26 total. So let's take a look at what I ended up getting here. Uh, I've got some Theros era stuff, some Ravnica Mirrodin era fat pack boxes. Um, just kind of like an assortment of fat packs. These are older, like Lorwyn. Um, looking at the stacks here, they don't look like they're full of sleeve cards, which is sometimes a good indication that there might be worth something, but it's fine because a lot of times this bulk here has some good pickable stuff. So looking for that old fashioned bulk pick. Um, op open box of booster box that just has the commons and uncommon stuff back into it. So it is what it is. There may be uh, some okay commons and uncommons in here, and you never know. Maybe they just literally put all the rares back. That's pretty rare for that to happen. You got an RTFC sleeve here, which I do know what that means now. I had to look that up at one point. Uh, and just a few cards underneath there, so it's kind of interesting. Just a little smattering of this and that and the other thing. This box looks like completely empty sleeves. Um, would be great if there's, you know, half a deck in between there but it doesn't really look like it this box I think in another picture picture was labeled trades which that sounds good but this the way this is organized looks like a bunch of bulk commons that might have gotten put back um, and that's what it is this box looks a little more interesting to me where you got some rubber banded up stuff and I, I can't tell if those are sleeves or if they're actually just cards but they kind of look a little bit longer so this might actually be a sleeved up deck that was rubber banded. Um, there's some top loaders here. They're probably empty, uh, but maybe there's some good stuff that was in among this kind of stuff here. And again, more probably bulk that got put back. Um, I'm ever hopeful. Um, lots that look like this are usually um, pickable enough to make it worth your while. Um, so and it's fun. So that's what I do this for. These boxes here look like they're actually still sealed, like they came right off of the pegboard. Um, so this one has got probably no cards in it. This one here too, and this one here too. I think they're just empty boxes that are like brand new in the packaging. These ones are uh, possibly empty. Maybe they have part of a deck inside of it. Maybe it's just sleeves. I don't know. We're going to find out. Um, more booster box kind of stuff. Who knows what's in there? They're not really showing much. Got a Lorwyn actual book. Maybe I will uh, take up reading again. I used to read a ton, but not so much anymore. Anymore, I just read the effing card. Wah, wah, wah. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to open this box and see how I did. All right, this box is actually really big. I'm going to scoot in here. They marked it fragile all over, which is really nice. I'm trying to move my mic up a little bit. Sorry for the sound. Here we go. Goodwill Industries of Sacramento to me. Um, it's actually 35 pounds. Uh, a good portion of that is probably packing and it, it's it's a big box I can't really show you all of it but I'm gonna open it up and we'll start taking it out and seeing what's in here and it's like a corset 2012 fat pack box nice condition and just some random unsleeved stuff. Some of these cards here clearly are older. They have some, some wear to it. Got some new Phyrexia mirrored and besieged. Got uncommons. And definitely looks like, oh, Cultivate. So, I mean, it's not all bad, right? Dragon Tree Speaker, that's a pickable card. And going back to Invasion, that was the older cards that were in, you could see there, apparently. Mind Rots. So, yep, should be some, just some little 
common and uncommon pickable stuff here hopefully throughout all of this and um, theoretically hopefully optimistically be able to at least break even oh boy here I go scanning again got this box of corset 2012 to go through um, as usual we're looking for cards that are put these over here uh, over 90 cents um, and we're better of course so let's see how we do uh, yep cultivate so those were something that we saw um, in the opening part there's three of those cultivate a buck 27 each we are off to a good start already growth spasm I will scan it it is not 90 cents so it's gonna go over there Jiraga tree speaker should be a little bit more um, at the end I will take off everything off of the list that is under 90 cents and um, see what I get for a total Ponder, so here's another good common. So this, like I've thought it might be, is gonna be another bulk pick. Commons and uncommons, so two bucks for a ponder. That's not bad. Hoping for, well, okay, hoping for Ancient Stirrings. That's a good card. Uh, hoping for rares eventually out of this. Um, collection box whatever this is but for now I'll take a couple dollar common like that whoops I'll throw it everywhere uh, any more of those mutagenic growth okay this is already not too shabby another one great scan it should add it there we go listener elf so definitely a good card not quite 90 cents so it's gonna go over there another mutagenic being so we're definitely on our way noxious revival yes I am already liking this yeah I'm liking this fat pack box right here um, six dollar uncommon right there I'll definitely would like to see more of those Time for the hordes, yes. Definitely want to see more and more of those as we go through this. Mutagenic growth. It's a great bolt pick already. Fogs in a row. That was, hey, Triumph for the hordes. Another one. Great. We are really doing pretty good right here. Um, we've got the Heroes versus Monsters deck. This must be the Heroes deck. So do we get a Sun Titan. We get a Sun Titan. It looks like the whole deck that has never even been touched. So figure of destiny. I'm gonna scan them. 389 for a Sun Titan. Um, now, I could like try to sell this deck just by itself, complete like this, or break it apart. I really don't think it's going to be, I don't, I don't know if anyone really wants this deck just the way it is. There's not a whole lot in there that's exciting. Annex is not much. Billis of War is probably not much. Kamal is not much.
So here is the box labeled trades. Let's take a look at this. Let me see if I can get this out. Yeah, you can see it was just, this all looks like bulk. Hopefully it's good bulk. Let's take a look. Goblin grenade, that should be a little bit. There we go. Left behind something. Oh, Goblin Chieftain. So they actually left a rare in the bulk box. So that'd be nice to see a few more of those. Another Delver, seeing a, a trend here that there's only one good card, only good one good common card out of Innistrad. I think it kind of seems to be the case, like with most sets, there's typically like one or two good commons and uncommons, and if they they weren't worth anything when the set was out then they often get left behind. Delver is one of those cars. And One of these had a, in the listing pictures, had a book in it. So maybe this is the one with the book. Let's take a look. Another one of those Lorwyn boxes. So now there's part two. Is this a three? It must be, eh, must be a three, uh, three pack. Maybe I get the third box somewhere. Uh, let's see, that was the empty one. This one, sure enough, has the book in it. Lorwyn by Corey J. Herndon and Scott McGuff. Book one in the Lorwyn cycle. Very cool. It's like brand new. I might actually try to read this. Sadly, I have no time for such things. I will give it a try. Maybe um, MTG Purple Mike Hatcher will give us a uh, sum summation of this book. I'm sure he's read it. He probably knows it like the back of his hand. He's the lore master. I like watching his channel for, he's very knowledgeable. This Theros box officially had not much in it, almost just over two bucks worth of uh, cards. Two somewhat okay cards there. Okay, so one brand new deck box in a package, a Sarkan deck box, and one that's also pretty much new. Just some Elf Warrior tokens inside of this box. 
Um, but no actual cards. So, that's that. I will uh, add these to my deck box collection. Um, these will probably end up going out to um, patrons at some point um, with my four month tragic loot crate box that I will send to loyal patrons. So, um, they'll get those and some goodies. Um, hopefully, a nice value. If you're interested in my Patreon, check out my links down below. <laughs> so faithless looting from Dark Ascension up until a couple days ago was a good card and now it's banned so that says it's oh, that's ultimate masters the Dark Ascension version says a dollar twelve so I'm gonna count it I know it's gonna be a tough sell at this point uh, but it's gonna count for my total Woohoo! Wax and Wayne from Arch Enemy. Wow. I don't know if I've seen that card before. Man, she must work out. Wow. Heckling Fiends, some conspiracy stuff here, huh? Ghost Quarter, that's pickable. And another Delver. Okay, moving on to the next part of this box. Uh, but first, I realized that these two elf warrior tokens were actually pretty decent. Buck seventy-seven a piece. So those go on to the list. That one is from the beatdown box. Let's see if it's worth anything. It is a buck eighty-nine for a beatdown box forest. You never know, right? So this is one reason to pick through basic lands. Some okay. So this is the box I was kind of interested in. Thinking that like this looked like it might be sleeved up cards, and it actually does look like. Oh my gosh! Ha! <laughs> there are cards sleeved up in these sleeves. Thank you. There's actually some hope left for this collection here. Okay. Is this the goods? Is this the good? Is this the good box? Let's find out. There's still like basic lands and stuff in there and common so this this deck right here might be the saving grace um i think i'm just gonna go through that first and see what we got right on the top ulamog the infinite gyre and a garrick great so let's just double check these are make sure these are real yeah it's it's a real card ulamog Wow, 
2592 after all of that bulk uh, looks really nice on the list there so there we go we'll do that one first Garrick Wildspeaker I wonder how how good was this deck let's let's rate it as we go here's an M11 Garrick Wildspeaker and we'll put all the good ones there Elf deck with an Ulamog. Is that does that seem legit? Moldiah Channeler, so it's a rare. Definitely like to see that. Play with the top card of your library revealed. As long as the top card of your library is a creature card, it gets plus three plus three. As long as it's a land card, you can add two mana of any one color to your mana pool by tapping this. It seems solid. It's a buck. That's a whole buck worth of solid right there. Melira, great. Yep, you can't get poison counters, so this is good tech against uh, Infect, right? Nothing too big for um, price-wise. So, was that the sideboard? You had Ulamog in the sideboard? That's interesting. Another channeler. Sky Shroud Poacher. It's a rebel. That doesn't go with your elves, does it? 298. What does he do? Search your library for an elf card. It does go with elves. You put that card into play, then shuffle your library. Cool. Alright. Uh, I'll put it there. Essence Warden is okay. It'll be about a buck. Uh, a little bit more now, okay. Gonna go over there. Wirewood Lodge should be a little bit. That's more than a little bit. Uh, four bucks there. Great. Scout. Another warden, huh? Was this one? Yeah, these were okay. Where they go? Two, two more essence, essence wardens. There's that lightning. Oh, cool. Elvish archer. So, it's a decent little elves deck here. And, uh, oops, it was over here. It's gonna maybe save the day here. Elvis Arch Druid. I don't know what Ulamog had to do with these elves. But, um, let's see here. The Herald is just a common. No, it's nothing really. Heedless One, Scout. This Battalion was bulk. The Prefect was bulk. Oracle of Moldiah. Awesome. That's great. So here's an actually pretty good card for three and a green. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library if it's a land card. $33. Better than Ulamog. That puts us over the what we paid for the lot. And lightning strikes. Holy crap. That was pretty loud. Um... Oh my god, speaking of lightning, this is a heck of an elves deck right here. <sighs> Wirewood Lodge. Eldamri, Lord of Leaves. Fantastic, this is a reserve list card. Tempest, it's in good shape. This is a light play. All elves gain force walk. Elves cannot be the target of spells or abilities. That's super solid. Um, it should be like 20 some bucks. Slightly less, 17. All right, well, we'll take it anyway. Wow. Wow, wow. Oh, another Oracle. Great. Um, I'm not going to scan that for us. So I'm going to scan this Oracle. Like I said, I had a feeling about this box in particular. Um, that's that's great. Not even sure where everything's going to go right now. Elvish Arch Druid. 238. Another one. Put it on there. Um, forest. I think I skipped the last one. It's fine. It's still like a buck. And Lanawar, Essence, Warden, Miri's Guile. Wow, that's great too. 
So this was, I guess, Legacy Elves? Because Tempest stuff, Reserve stuff cannot be in Modern, right? Privileged Position, wow. This is a solid deck. Miri's Guile. 25. 25 bucks. And whew, I'm going to say Near Mint. You know, it's got a mate, like one, two Nicks here. I would take it as near mint. Yes, privileged position. Other permanents you control can't be the target of spells or abilities. Your opponents control. It's light play. Ten bucks there. So cool. Beast within. Got some more big elves coming up. Different version. New Phyrexia. Copperhorn Scout Izuri. Renegade leader from Scars of Mirrodin. Two bucks there. Harold, another Azuri. Being Land of War Elves. A couple more full art forests. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five more full out full art forests. Uh, something like that. Okay. Awesome. That was a heck of a deck right there. Um, I guess the idea is, you know, ramp up, uh, get your elves out, and then play an Ulamog for the win, right? So, fantastic. There's a mirrored and stuff here. Oh, I just saw my lights flicker. And there's an exsanguinate, so you better get that on record. Six bucks there. Okay, I'm going to take this bunch out. There is, oh, there's actually one good thing I can see right there. That's, that's cool. Um, right on the bottom, you see it? Whoa, lightning striking again. I'm gonna, I'll keep that over there. We're gonna go through the rest of this first. Okay, hold on. Move Sigarda over there. Okay, what else we got here? Conspiracy, nothing. Some more lands. Oh! A Jace Memory Adept. Excellent. So, there's a few little things left in here. 592 for a Jace. Swiftfoot Boots, a couple of those. Those are decent. Ah, uh, the M12 version. And two of those. Couple bucks there. This last stuff here, Wreath of Geists. There it is. Lightning Strikes. We got a Zathrid Necromancer, a Cigarda Host of Herons, and a Pearl Medallion. So let's scan these up. Pitch Burn Devils is nothing. Some empty top loaders. Who knows what was in those? This is like. Still taped up, like they ordered it and never even used it. Zathrid Necromancer from M14 is probably not really much. Yep, 30 cents there. A Sigarda Host of Herons from Avacyn. 616. That's a solid one. And then a 
Pearl Medallion from Tempest. Your white spells cost one less to play. 668. That was a great box. Um, and mainly it was just that deck and a few little stragglers that were in the bulk. Uh, full Art Island. It's a little bit, so I'll pull that. Full Art Waste. That's actually 90 cents. It makes it. And I think these are... The regular lands are just going to be not much. The Waste... That's, we're going to call it 90 cents, right? Oh, there's a Mythic. I don't think it's a good one. Okay. Zendikar Resurgent is 326. Oops, my phone just died. Oh, yep, I am on T-Mobile. Well, at this point then, I should probably call it a day. And pick this back up when my phone charged. Yep, sad face. Looks like Packbot, doesn't it? Um, I'm not finding anything in this pile here anyway. So I'm going to leave the rest of this bag for tomorrow. And finish it off. We get just... Let me see a move over here. We got just this amount left. And there's one more rare here at least, so there's a chance, right? So for now I'm just gonna call it a night and talk to you later. Okay, I was gonna go home, but instead I charge my phone and I'm gonna see this through to the end. The rain is dying down. And I gotta know what else is in the rest of this bag. I can't just leave it till tomorrow. So here we go. Come on. Stuff. Hey, an actual not bulk, it's 250 for a reality smasher. Okay, great. Okay, there you have it. Ended up with 353 on an investment of 160. Right in the middle, found a pretty decent elves deck and some extras that wouldn't fit into that. Um, but all of the rest of it was bulk and pick pickable out of the bulk or a few commons and uncommons that are uh, worth a little bit. And that's how you do it. Um, had a lot of fun. Hope, hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, that's why I do it. Because you just never know what is going to be in there. Um, took a gamble on that; those white sleeves being an actual deck. It very well easily could have been an Oath of the Gatewatch deck that had really nothing in it. But for some reason, there was a Legacy Elves deck, which was strange. Um, so it, you know, life happens. It could have been someone's roommate that had a loner deck, and then they moved out, and forgot about it, and. Then it got left behind somewhere. It just those kind of things happen, 
and collections get shuffled around and sent to the thrift store so that's where I try to come in and scoop up the goods so sometimes you get all shadows over Innistrad commons and sometimes you get stuff like this so um, again thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one